Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Can I have your resume? Can you introduce yourself? Yes, ma'am. My name is Ramya. I am a native of the Department of Parent and Strength in Hyderabad, Tanzibar. When it comes to my qualification, I am a graduate in BSc in the stream of statistics and computers under Chandavana University in the year 2021 with 95%. And right now I am pursuing MSc under Chandavana University. And I have a knowledge in Python and testing. And I am good at uh, English and Telugu. So my strengths are I am self motivated to motivate myself in the hard situations. And I am a positive thinker. I will try to handle the situations in an easy way. And uh, I never give up things easily. And also, I am interested in learning new things. Uh, I work hard until I fulfill my dream. And my short term goal is to get a job in IT sector. Um, get a job in IT sector. What is your long term goal? My short term goal is to get a job in IT sector uh, where I can improve my skills. And long term goal is. Uh, to achieve a better position uh, where I built my career and organize it too. In free time, I like to listen music to remove my stress and sometimes cooking. Uh, and uh, I am beginning to repair family. My family consists of four members, including me, father, mother, and my elder brother. That's all. Okay. <coughs> Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. Okay, that's true. Carry on. Next. Uh, 
Mm. It means any apna apna ka behavior na testing environment uh, is called as defect. Mm. And the bug is nothing but if the defect was uh, accepted by the developer, mm. is called a bug. Uh, if uh, the developer was not accepted by the bug, mm. it is not a bug. <coughs> failure, failure means um, if uh, it will uh, develop the project and release it mm. uh, in market, uh, mm. some problems uh, like uh, uh, maybe some problems and issues mm. is called failure. After releasing the pro uh, applications the into the market, so if the uh, application is not working fine during utilization, it went to the market, right? So it, while it, uh, people are utilizing that application, so it is not working mm. fine means it is called as a failure. Right, some issues are there. People are very, uh, they are feeling some difficulties to use that app, uh, um, application. Okay. <coughs> what is kickoff meeting? Kickoff meeting means uh, if the client requirements are shared to CEO mm -hmm. and uh, the CEO was uh, discussing uh, entire the team, mm -hmm. and after that uh, we will conduct one meeting. That meeting is called kickoff meeting. The meeting between the client and client and uh, HR team members. CEO. Okay. CEO and team members. Uh, HR. Uh, okay. <coughs> so software meeting means uh, meetings between the client and client CEO. And CEO. So kickoff meeting means uh, once the Client um, CEO accept the client's requirements. Uh, requirements like the, the project is okay. They have uh, committed the project. So what the CEO will do? He will conduct what meeting with uh, all the team ma managers, all the project managers. He will conduct one meeting. That is called the kick off meeting. Okay, so starting start up meeting. <coughs> Can you explain the spiral model? Spiral model, it is also known as iterative model. Mm. In spiral, uh, we will start the original work. Mm. Original work until uh, the condition satisfaction. Uh, once uh, we will satisfy the once we will satisfy the uh, condition, directly uh, they will release the market. Spiral meeting, a spiral model I'm asking. So how it will work? Spiral model. Yes ma'am, uh, we will take on the uh, original work, not uh, using dummy origin. Mm. Requirement analysis design. Yes. We will take one so piece of software and we will develop and we will release into the market. So in next cycle, it will go like what cycle on cycle. Next cycle, if any new features is there, we can add that feature. Next cycle. So it will like in a spiral model. Can you say what is the advantage and disadvantage in spiral model? So any that's what I said na, any additional functionalities there we can add in the next cycle. That is the advantage. So it is very expensive model and requires the more time. So that will be the yeah, time taking process and this is a very disadvantage. And it is suitable for only the small size project. Yeah. Yes. Do you know Agile process? Yes, ma'am. Can you explain? Agile process means uh, it is customer uh, satisfaction. Okay. Online delivery. Customer no need to wait for a long time. Mm. And good communication between them. Mm. Uh, every day face to face interaction between them. Mm. And uh, mostly requirement changes are acceptable. Mm. Mm. Okay. 
motivation environment. So I will explain only the principles. What are this is called the agile principles. So you know uh, who Scrum? Scrum is used for agile process. Scrum is a framework mm -hmm. which follow all these principles. Yes. Okay, that is called the Scrum. Scrum. Okay. Yes. So I think this uh, this principle it is following all these principles that is called the Scrum. And who is Scrum master? Some scrum master is a separate designation. Okay, he is a person. He is going to handle all the agile process from starting to end. He is going to derive all the agile process. Team of the. He uh, some some uh, sometimes scrum master like team manager. Team. They all they also will be a scrum master. Okay. So can you say what is the difference between the product backlog and the sprint backlog? Product backlog contains all user stories of the all user stories of the all user stories of the application. Okay. It's known as product backlog, mm. and it was prepared by product owner. Mm. Sprint backlog means sprint means duration of time. Mm. Uh, sprint backlog contains a list of user stories, mm. uh, list of user stories of the application, mm. and it was uh, prepared by Scrum Master. Product backlog is prepared by the Scrum Master. Product owner. Scrum, the Sprint backlog I am asking. Sprint okay, backlog sprint means backlog. List, uh, list of list completed of stories, stories by QA and Dev for this particular sprint. That is called Sprint backlog. What is it? Product backlog is correct. Yes. In the starting of the agile, product, uh, like a product owner will prepare all the uh, all user stories. All user stories. Yes. That is called the product backlog. Okay. Print backlog means list of user stories. List of user stories committed by the QA and Dev. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Explain integration testing. Integration testing means after any testing, we will follow the integration testing. Mm -hmm. Integration testing are done with the combining of one module to another module mm -hmm. and we checking the Checking the data, the combining with one module to another module. Checking the data of flow. Checking data flow with the one module, one module to another module. Yes. Explain the alpha and beta testing. Alpha testing means alpha testing done by users in uh, developer environment. This is known as alpha testing. Beta testing means. Um, beta testing done by the users in. Customer environment. Yes. So, what all comes in the non-function testing? Performance testing. Okay. Security testing. No. The GUI testing. GUI testing. Compatibility testing. testing. Database testing. Database testing. testing. Explain, can you explain the security testing and performance testing? Performance testing means uh, to perform the based on user story, user inputs. To, and uh, in performance testing, uh, we will use some separate tools like uh, JMeter, um, Security testing means. Uh, Uh, application are sec uh, secure or not? Mm. Application secure or not by authentication testing, authorization uh -huh. testing, and future testing. This and all will come to the security testing. Yes. Performance testing means load testing. Mm -hmm. Stress stress testing. Uh, load stress. This will come under the performance
Can you describe yourself in one word? I am a very uh, ambitious person mm. and straightforward. Mm. What makes you so happy? Mm. I am doing a great job mm. and financial support my family. I mm. am simply saying that making my, my parents happy makes me happy. Making your parents happy? But it makes you also happy. Yes. Okay. So, what is the difference between hard work and smart work? Smart work means uh, without using the physical uh, stress, mm -hmm. and hard work means uh, hard work means with using the physical stress and uh, mental depression, and the smart work means with using uh, brain. Okay. Can you give any example for that? Any example for hard work and smart work in daily basis you can see? Smart work means we hard work means daily we write notes and daily practice. Daily writing the notes by sitting and copying all the notes will come from the hard work. And smart work? Smart work means Yeah, explain. What do you explain? Like instead of writing all the notes, you just you took a pic. Ah, yes, ma'am. Take a pic and see this one. That will come under the smart one. For example, okay. So will you work over time? So, you are living in Hyderabad or from Hyderabad? Yes, I'm in place. I'm in place. This is your native? Yes. Okay. What is the difference between confident and overconfident? Step so easy. Okay, I can do uh, it. I can. Do uh, it. I will manage. I will manage. Like Speaking like that. Oh, oh, confidence. Yes. Okay. So, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? After after next five years. Oh, in your position, which position you are being aiming? Like after five years, uh, how do you think I want to be in this position? Like. How do you see yourself? Python developer. As a Python developer. Now, uh, like you are giving interview for the tester. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You want to move as a Python developer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. So, what is your salary expectation? Salary expectations? Based on my performance. Based on my performance. If I give 15 days, it is okay for you? Okay. Okay. So, okay. are you ready to work with bond? Yes, ma'am. We have two years bond. Are you ready to work with the bond? Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's all about your... Yes. Do you have any questions with me? No, ma'am. No? 